number of initial claims fell. Economists say the downward trend is a good sign that things at least aren't getting worse. University of Wisconsin System President Ray Cross is ordering campuses to identify programs worth keeping and brace for layoffs. This is because of the pandemic. Cross says system officials will decide which courses can stay and which will vanish. Campuses should be ready to move forward with scaled down course catalogs by the fall of next year. In just a few hours, the UW system will begin to discuss a major change to admissions requirements for the next school year. 27 Sarah Masler Donar is at the UW system offices with more on why it's considering dropping ACT and SAT requirements for incoming students. If the Board of Regents decides to temporarily suspend that admissions requirement, it would be joining a growing number of colleges and universities across the country that have already scrapped the requirement for this year, some even scrapping it for the next. This all due to the pandemic, of course, and the inability of students to safely take the test in person. The companies behind the SAT and ACT tests have already canceled tests through June, forcing many schools to make the decision to suspend the requirements. For now, the companies say they fully plan to reinstate the tests, although many student and advocacy groups have called on them to make this optional testing something permanent for the future. Now, at this point, if the UW system does decide to suspend this admission requirement to have that testing score, it would not apply to the UW Madison campus. Reporting in Madison, Sarah Masler Donar, 27 News. Sarah, thank, we, thank you. And we did just hear back from a UW system spokesperson who tells us UW Madison is exempt because of its, quote, unique characteristics as the flagship university. Madison is out of an extra $108,000 to help people vote in the spring election. Madison.com reports the extra money went largely to more supplies and labor costs during the pandemic. It's about 21% higher than the original half million dollars the city budgeted. Right now, Sauk County Public Health and the Wisconsin National Guard are conducting the county's second drive through testing for Sauk County residents showing symptoms of COVID-19. It is by appointment only, and the test will only detect if you have a current coronavirus infection. The testing will take place at River Valley High School in Spring Green from now until 5 this afternoon. You can call the Sauk County COVID hotline for an appointment. That number is on your screen. You'll be required to provide proof that you live in Sauk County. Just into the newsroom within the last hour, one of President Donald Trump's personal valets has tested positive for coronavirus. The valets are members of an elite military unit dedicated to the White House and typically work closely with the first family. The president is being tested again by the White House physician. Right now, it's a good day to get outside. The vitamin D is plentiful in downtown Madison, and it's another mild morning for you. Meteorologist Max Paris tells us what we can expect the rest of the day. Hey, Max. Good morning, Caroline and everyone. It is a bright, sunny day, and it's our last mild one, too. Here's how the last 12 hours have played out. We woke up in the 40s this morning, well above the freezing mark, and we got to the upper 50s so far. Notice your average high this time of year, 66. I don't think we make it that high. But it overall is still a very pleasant day ahead. Meanwhile, tonight we have freeze warnings in place. If you're north of Dane County areas in this bright blue have the freeze warning from 4 to 9 tomorrow morning. And that's not all as we look towards Friday night into early Saturday, the entire viewing area under a freeze watch. So I expect region wide freezing conditions as we head into the weekend and areas northward will see freezing conditions tonight. So here's what's coming up in your full storm track forecast. Yes, it's the last day with temps close to the average for this time of year. I have a couple frosty nights ahead, maybe even a few more next week too. And the weekend kind of looks split. I'll let you know if the better day is Saturday or Mother's Day when it comes.